what the heck is a free radical and what the heck is an antioxidant? Okay, we hear enough people talking about them all the time, saying that we need to be making sure we're getting a bunch of antioxidants, but no one is really explaining what they are in a simple, very, very clean way. So that's what I want to do in today's video. What's going on guys? My name is Thomas DeLauer. I'm the lead trainer and lead nutritionist of sixpackabs.com and also the creator of the science-based six-pack program and formulator of Green Detox, the world's now leading green supplement for fitness people. All right, so let's talk about what is going on in your body with a free radical. So a free radical is pretty much just a rogue oxygen cell. Now that sounds weird because we think that oxygen is good. We always talk about having more oxygen. But the fact is, is that oxygen is reactive. So we need just enough oxygen to be able to fuel our cells and fuel aerobic metabolism, give us energy, but anything over and above ends up being very reactive. So what that means is we have lots of oxygen floating around through the body. And what happens is this oxygen touches things and it oxidizes them. Just like if you were to leave a weight out in the rain or if you were to leave any kind of iron out in the rain, it's going to rust. Expose it to oxygen, expose it to the weather, the elements, it's going to rust and it's going to turn to just total garbage. Well, that same kind of stuff happens inside your body. So these rogue oxygen cells travel around and they react with all kinds of things. They're electrically charged. So they react with cells and they kill them. They react with other enzymes and they kill them. They react with all kinds of things and they cause a problem. This is called free radical damage. Now it sounds like a very, very blanket thing because we hear so many people talk about it. But the fact is, it's essentially what kills us in the end. In the end, our cells die because we become overrun with free radicals. We have so much oxidative damage that we ultimately die. But the newsflash is that this also happens on a smaller scale when it comes down to your fitness and your health goals. If you have high amounts of oxidative stress, your body isn't recovering because the cells, even the muscle cells, that would normally be replenishing and getting stronger and bigger are getting acted upon by this rogue oxygen. So what is an antioxidant? Well, an antioxidant neutralizes this extra oxygen. But how does it do that? I mean, it doesn't just go around the body and catch it. No, remember, reactive oxygen is electric. What we need is something to neutralize it from an electrical standpoint. So when you look at the basics of antioxidants, what they basically are are what are called electron donors. So what they do is they travel through the body and they donate some of their energy to neutralize something. So when we look at physics and we look at how science works and how electricity works, when we add extra electricity, we can neutralize something that is very bad. So basically, this reactive oxygen has become so highly charged and so out of whack that it needs to be neutralized by an opposing energy. So the antioxidant comes along and it's like a carrier of all kinds of energy and it donates one of its electrons over to the reactive oxygen so that it can neutralize it. Then the body processes it as waste. It's now neutralized. It's now null and void. It doesn't do anything in the body. Now the body can clear it out through its waste processing and boom, you're nice and healthy again. So this is always occurring, but the problem occurs when we have so much free radical damage and so much reactive oxygen species floating around through our body that our own natural antioxidants can't keep up. We have natural antioxidants. We have alpha lipoic acid. We have glutathione. We make a lot of antioxidants because it's a natural process of the body, but it's usually a small ratio of more free radicals then we have antioxidants in the body. So slowly in the ideal situation, over time, you end up with an overabundance of free radicals and you ultimately die, okay? But when we look at it in the sense of understanding how this works, we can make sure we're getting enough antioxidants in and we can make sure that we're doing enough to support our body's own antioxidant thriving ability. So that's what we wanna focus on. So now when we understand how antioxidants work, we know that we can get rid of the extra oxygen and allow our muscles to recover, allow our bodies to recover, our organs to recover, and essentially our life to be nice and long and prosperous. So one thing to keep in mind is when you're working out, you're breathing a lot. So your oxygen exchange is more. You have more oxygen exchange happening because you're breathing heavily, you're working out, you're moving. Everything is expedited. This means more reactive oxygen species are coming in. That's why even though you're healthy because you're working out, if you're not getting the antioxidants, you could be putting yourself in a much more unhealthy state than someone that's totally sedentary but eating healthy. So the importance here is making sure that you're matching your output with your input. 
Otherwise, you're putting yourself in a very negative situation. And honestly, that's exactly why I created Science Based Six Pack and Green Detox, to be able to give you a formula for fasting that'll allow your body to clean itself out, but also give you something that tastes good to be able to help yourself stay nice and clean and antioxidant rich. Anyhow, the purpose of this video wasn't to be a plug. It was to help you understand exactly how antioxidants work so that you can get on your merry way and feel your best and live for a long time. As always, keep it locked in here with sixpackabs.com and I will see you in the next video.